Hello, I'm landscape painter Daniel Belov. You can see my artworks at daniel-belov.com. Now I'll tell you what I personally prefer to take for open air painting. Firstly, I prefer to take a canvas glued on a hardboard. Because it's comfortable to keep it this way. And it only takes up a small amount of space. If I go somewhere for a long while, I take a wet panel holder to hold wet paintings. A wet panel holder is a device where the studies are placed on the shelves. When I glue a canvas on a hardboard, I leave a small blank border at the edges to slide it onto a shelf. I have a very diverse set of brushes. I like to use various brushes. Not only new ones, sometimes I need worn ones, old brushes. Also a standard set of bristle brushes. I like to paint with various bristle brushes. Thin, white, various types. I have some stubble-like bristle brushes. I have some tousled bristle brushes. And I have totally worn small bristle brushes. Very, very old. They are useful to paint some details, like a branch or a stick, an orb. Sometimes these brushes are very useful. You can also do some effects which you can't do with completely new brushes. I carry two Kalinsky fan brushes, because sometimes one gets dirty while painting and doesn't paint properly. I also have two bristle brushes in this set. One is more or less new and the second is worn out, so they make different trails. And I have several round Kalinsky brushes like this one, with a long blade, a thin one, a medium one, and a wide one, to paint details, branches, some grass blades, and things like that. I like to use a small palette knife. The thing is that I paint quite small works on plein air, and I don't need to mix large amounts of paints, blobs of paint. A small amount of paint is enough for me. And it's especially comfortable to mix them with a small palette knife. This is especially good if you use expensive paints. The paint accumulates here and simply goes in the trash after you are finished. The bigger palette knife you have, the more paint accumulates here. So I suppose a small palette knife is better in this way. I don't usually paint with a palette knife, so it's not carved or large. My palette cup is this one, open and small. I need it to work easily with thinner and to be able to easily pour it out later. And it's easy to wipe this palette cup after that, it doesn't get dirty. I have the following set of paints. I have titanium white. Not a zinc one, but titanium. The most popular whites now are zinc and titanium. The zinc one is whiter, but it's more transparent than titanium. I like to use a covering dense white paint such as titanium, so I prefer to choose titanium white. It's a bit more yellowish, but much better at covering than zinc, and it's more durable, it preserves better. Especially if you lay down some dense paint layers. Further, I have a violet color. I have two cobalt blues, one is a bit redder and one is a bit greener. And I have a cold green paint, in this case it's tall green blue. I have a neutral green paint quite bright, this is cobalt green. I have raw umber and a warm red paint, in this case it's permanent madder brown. I have a transparent yellow paint. It's transparent oxide yellow or something like this. I have a transparent warm green paint. It's green yellow. I have a bright yellow paint. I usually take cobalt aureline or Indian yellow brown lake extra. And a bright pink paint, rose quinacridone. 
I usually go with this set and it's enough for me to mix all the colors that I need. Further, I like to use an uncommon cap as a filled hat. I suppose it looks lame now, moreover it's old, it's dirty, covered in paint, quite old, but very comfortable. Firstly, it has a good long bill, which protects my eyes from the sun. Secondly, it has a marvelous gadget on the back side. This is a protector, which keeps my neck and ears safe from the sun, because it covers my whole head and neck and ears like this. It's very cozy. If you can find something like this, I think you will like it. To sum up, it's cool. I'm very pleased with it. Also, I bring a multi-tool, which can be handy to cut something or to screw something, probably in my painter's case. Sometimes things get loose and something falls out of the case, or the umbrella breaks sometimes. I bring a small camera with me, to be able to capture what I paint, because sometimes I paint a successful study, but it's hard to convey everything in a study, so I'll need the photo later when I want to paint a big painting based on the study, so I capture the view. Of course, a photo doesn't convey the impression, nor the lighting, nor some other effects, but it captures details. With that you can look at which flowers were growing in the location, for example. And I take water with me and carry it in a thermos, so that the water doesn't get too warm, or if I bring tea it doesn't get too cold. Write in the comments what you consider absolutely necessary to take on Funair. Subscribe to my channel right now, and then go to my site to see the list of lessons and my master classes on painting on Funair.